It's the old book, proven true book, yet it's fresh, the ever new book. How I love this precious Bible of mine. It's the old book, the inspired book, and preserved book without error book. How I love this precious Bible divine. Its pages are worn and soiled from usage, water stained with my tears. This old King James Bible has been my companion. Its words have sustained me through the years. I've seen hardened sinners tremble and repentant sinners cry. Yes, by this King James Bible, I'll live. By this precious Bible, I'll die. It's the old book, proven true book, yet it's fresh, the ever new book. How I love this precious Bible of mine. It's the old book, the inspired book, and preserved book without error book. How I love this precious Bible divine. How I love this precious Bible divine. This precious Bible. Think of it. How many Bibles have you got at home and how worn are they? Do they testify to their meaning to you and to your family? Uh, you've seen this Bible and it's one of many Bibles that I have, but I just can't get rid of it. It's, uh, it's worn and torn and beat up and pages come disconnected and we have to tape them back in. But it's, it's not the physical uh, shape that the Bible the book itself is in, but what it does in our life that makes the difference. That is because of one's attitude toward the Word of God. It says in Psalm 119, verse 97, Oh, how love I thy law. It is my meditation all the day. As far as priorities go, the Bible comes first in our life. It's by the Bible that we learned of our need. It's by the Bible that we learned of our Savior, Jesus Christ, and all the blessings that come in the walk by faith, uh, letting Jesus live through us. The Bible is precious to us. We ought to love it, not just the book itself, but love what the Bible is and what it does in our life. It changes us. It corrects us. It transforms us. It uh, gets us on the right path. It motivates us. It keeps us going. I want to encourage you right now. I want to urge everyone that is viewing to get into the Word of God today. So do that today as a result of this, uh, this a challenge that the Lord is placing on our hearts today. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for the Word of God. May it be precious to us. May we love the Word of God. May we get into the Word of God today and read it and love it and live by it. And we'll thank you and praise you. With heads bowed, eyes closed, would you ask Jesus in your heart right now, if you're not sure you're saved, just uh, as many as received him to them, gave you power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Would you pray right now something like this? Dear God, I admit that I'm a lost sinner. I need a Savior. Please save me right now. Take away my sins and take me to heaven when I die. Did you pray that prayer? Let us know. Keep on winning souls, Christians. Keep on living for the Lord. Stay in the book. Father, we thank you for the Word of God. And now as it speaks to us on many levels and many different areas and venues of our life, I pray, Lord, that we'll respond positively, that we'll obey you, and we'll be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. All right. So what kind of book is it? It's the old book, proven true book, yet it's fresh, the ever new book. How I love this precious Bible of mine. It's the old book, the inspired book, and preserved book without error book. 
How I love this precious Bible divine How I love this precious Bible divine God bless you today. You are listening to From the Shepherd to the Sheep Daily Devotionals. This is a ministry of Central Baptist Church in Woodbridge, Virginia. If you would like to learn more about our ministries, you can find us online at cbcwoodbridge.org. You will also find many other helpful resources there, including preaching, devotionals, and songs. We thank you for listening to this devotional, From the Shepherd to the Sheep.